Good morning. Today we are going to do a traditional Japanese crane. I am doing my best to not booger it up too badly and I am going to talk through it and you will have to hit pause because I'm just going to whiz through here fairly quickly. Notice though how I'm using my fingernails to sharpen it. We're flipping the paper over because we folded lengthwise that way and we're folding diagonally the opposite direction. Remember, crease it. Crease it nicely. All right. See how the diagonals are mountains? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it inside out, though. They're still mountains. But we're bringing these mountains in, and then we're bringing it in like this. Remember? All right, let's do that again. Like this. And then we fold it like this. All right. The next thing, you're going to remember this part that's open, that needs to face you. I'm this way, so it's going this way. All right. First step is we bring this edge on the top part to the middle as best you can. I should have made my crease sharper. It's always bad when you don't. It's hard to see them. So let's get this in here. Yeah, I was rolling happy with YouTube. They lowered my resolution on that other one and turned it the wrong way. So I was like, hmm, sons of guns. All right, so we're shooting it again. All right, there, that side's folded. Then we flip it over. And we make it match pretty close. This is going to be the body. This part's the body of your crane. And then we flip it back. All right. Now, we're going to open the part we did earlier. And it's called a pedal fold is what I was told. We're opening this up like this. We come in as best we can. And we are going to do exactly opposite. On this side's correct. This side, though, we have to flip. And they're going to be like this, so it's a little harder. And there we are. And that is one side. That's going to be a wing when we're done. All right, now we come to this side. We flip it over. We put the body up. And we're going to do what we did on this side. We're going to bring these in. We're going to make it match pretty much the other side. Bring them to the middle. Time. Oh, we got all kinds of time. Make sure you crease it really nicely. It does matter. Now, we open it up like we did on the other side, and we're going to do that pedal fold again. Remember, these are the correct way, but the ones on the top, they're the wrong way, so they're harder to do. So you got to kind of push on them a little bit and get them lined up. And sometimes I have little things happen like that. And you got to push on it. There we go. And there we go. Now we have the other side's wings made. Now what we have to do, this part's the hard part, I think, personally, is we got to take this part right here. This, this is going to be a leg, and, or neck, or tail, actually, pardon me. And we're going to make it, see how it doesn't go to the middle? I'm taking it halfway, or maybe a little over halfway. You can go over, but if you take it all the way halfway, oh, you're going to have a hard time next step after we get done with these. So I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Do not bring it all the way to the middle. It will not work very well if you do. Notice how I come back and crease my creases. Get them nice and sharp. We want this side to match as best we can. So let's get it to match. And... There we go. Make sure you crease it real well. All right, the next step, it's a little confusing. What we're going to do, see there, like, there's a little fold right there. You can actually see it. We're not going all that way because that's the bottom. So we're coming at that angle. I like to line them up with this angle right here. So I line it up with that. I crease it nice. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I line it up about like that with that angle right there. If you want to make yours uniform. All right, next step. Here's where it gets strange. We did this to undo it, just like we've done on several other things. We have to turn this thing. See this right in here? We're going to take this, and we're going to push in, lift up, and then we're going to fold this in right here. See, we're folding this in. It's a reverse fold. There we go. It's a little confusing, but you get another chance to see me do it. So I'm taking this, and I come over here. I open it up. Well, actually, I push up, 
and then a reverse fold. There we go. Try to get it to where it's lined up in the middle and even. And there we are. We have basically, it's done, basically. We got a few things to do. We have to decide what's the head. And I think this side will make a better head. What we have to do here is kind of the same thing. We're going to do a reverse fold where we come in and we push in a little bit and then we crease it. Bloop. And we made a head. Oh, it's starting to actually look like a traditional Japanese crane. Look at that. We still have to do one more thing, two times. We have to give it some wings. So we're coming in here now, one side. And the other, it's good to have a match-ish. Crease them nicely, and there we go. And this is in remembrance of Miss Sandy Craig for me this time. And I made some yesterday for my father and some other people. Um, it's good way traditional to remember people. Symbolic of the bird who carries souls to paradise in Japan or heaven. Well, I hope you had a good time doing this. I know I did and learning it. And don't forget, happy trails.